I'm going to go over the time of year for carp. And these are carp I caught during different times, just as an example. This was last week, so springtime. That's a summer carp. That's a fall carp. And that one was in January. So you can even catch them in the winter. Yes, that's a mirror over there. Yeah, but So let's, let's talk seasons first of all. Um, obviously, this spring has been incredibly cold and wet. Normally, by this time of year, carp fishing is phenomenal. It's the best time of year um, pre-spawn. Carp will start to spawn when the water gets to about 55 degrees when, in whatever water system they're at. So up until that time is they're, the time they're the most aggressive and they're the most willing to eat anything. They get very hungry. And, and, and so right now is a great time if, you, if we have two warm days in a row. Uh, even though it's still cold and the water's still cold, two warm days in a row, the shallows will get warm enough that the carp will start moving up into the shallows and they'll start feeding. So like I said, last week I went out on uh, Saturday and had a great day. And I caught this one on Saturday um, and it was 23 pounds. A um, couple other smaller ones that day. And then I actually took the second half of Tuesday off from work, I, second half of the day off and went out and had a great, I think I, I landed 10 Tuesday afternoon. So I had a fantastic afternoon. Yeah. And I have some video from that just that, that I'll show you as we're going over some of this stuff. So, okay, once the carp start spawning, when the water gets to about 55 degrees, it can become fairly difficult to catch them during the spawn period. Um, actively spawning carp will not feed. So, and what actively spawning carp, for those that have been out and you see the big commotion in the water of a bunch of carp together, that's usually, anytime you see a bunch of carp, rolling around and making a commotion, that's actively spawning. The males will rub up against the females to try to encourage the female to drop the egg, and then the males will fertilize the eggs. And that, that's what that action is. And you see a lot of that in the spring as the water warms up, they'll come in and do that. Now, having said that, you can set up near where spawners are and wait for other fish because there will be some that aren't actively spawning, and especially the males, they may actively try to spawn for a while, they'll get tired and hungry, and then they'll move off and start feeding. And so anytime they leave that active spawner, they will start to feed again. But the majority of the carp in that area are gonna be trying to spawn when you have a spawner. So it just becomes more difficult to find carp that are willing to feed during, during the spawn. Uh, after the spawn, fishing's fantastic again. They're hungry, um, makes sense. After spawning, they're, they're ready to eat. <laughs> so they start eating again for a little while. Fishing picks up again. Um, and, and again, when that happens is usually any time from like end of April to June, when you'll see the main spawning action, depending on the body of water you're in, you'll have about a month where fishing is really, really good again. And then it kind of slows down a little bit, um, during the hot months of the summer. You can still catch them then. It's not slow then. Fishing is still really good in the summer for carp, depending on the body of water that you're on they are gonna be a little bit harder to entice. Um, they're not as hungry. They're not gonna be as aggressive during that time of year. Then in the fall, um, sometimes there will be a second spawn and you'll get the same kind of action where the, uh, the carp will get really hungry pre-spawn. But even if not, fall fishing, uh, the carp, once the water starts to cool back down, they know lean months are coming. At least that's my theory. They become very aggressive again. Fall is, I don't know. I, I get torn between spring and fall. I love fall uh, fishing for carp and really all the way up until we start getting ice on the water. Carp in the fall is great fishing, fantastic fishing. And then in the winter, like I said, that one's in January. If you want to go chase them in the winter time, you have to find warm water. Um, like one of the places that you can go will be like the, uh, the outlets from the water treatment plants. And that may seem gross to you, <laughs> but that's warm water and the carp will go to those areas for the warmer water and you can catch them in areas like that or if there's spring fed areas yeah 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 absolutely absolutely lake mead is fishable year round the biggest problem you run into in the winter time um, in areas like that is that your light conditions still aren't great i mean it's better than utah but we don't notice how much less light there is sometimes but but it is much less. It makes, it makes sight fishing just so hard. Um, so that's usually what stops my fishing in the fall. Um, you know, sometimes I'll fish pretty heavily into November for carp, um, but the light conditions start to get so tough in November. 
the sun's just not high enough in the sky. And then in the spring, same kind of thing. You know, it's got to usually march before I get back out and I start chasing carp again. And it's more because of light than anything. It's just, you have to be able to see to successfully fly fish for carp. It's all, it's 99% sight fishing, which is part of why it's so dang fun though.